Cool. All right. Moving on to the number 26 in the film villains, 31 greatest horror films of all time. It is The Descent. Mm. Again, should be higher. No more yeah. Higher. yeah. Definitely. Definitely higher. It was in your top 10, Dave, I think. It was not in the top 10, but it was like right below. It was really right next level down because when you realize out of 100 movies and stuff like that, the absolute masterpieces that are out there. And I do think this is a masterpiece. But again, when you look at top 10s, it's finite. But anyway, this movie is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. One of the few that are on the list that is genuinely scary. Mm, yeah, and not when it, not even with the monster stuff. And most of the way through, I mean, yeah. almost the whole yeah. fucking movie is terrifying. And on top of it, you have the human drama, which is really powerful too. Uh, and these, and they're all like strong. Uh, there, there's not like weak women in this movie, like there yeah. is a lot of times in uh, in in horror films. Uh, they're not necessarily being chased or i mean obviously they're being chased but you know what i mean they're all they all have yeah. like strength they're doing they're something that's in distress is, yeah they're physically fit and doing this physical uh strenuous shit like crawling through these caves uh, has this picked up uh with the like a newer generation or are we still the only i don't ones know because you know when you say that it really was kind of ahead of its time as far as the being a movie that's all about very strong women before there was the outcry for movies with strong women Neil was doing this before then. Um, right. So I hope, and if you haven't seen it, finish watching this and then go watch it. Yes, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah, this should be at the top of your list from this list uh, yeah. because it needs a good resurgence. And, and I mean, have you talked to Neil about, uh, have you, I assume you, you might know Neil, Dave? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've only met him once, but I mean, they, did you ever get any good little tidbits of information from him? Uh, I mean, the interesting thing is, you know, you know, most of it is is on a set that they built on sound stages, you know, right for the caves and everything, which is really impressive. You know, I, you know, he was he was involved with part two a little bit, but you know, for him, he was just like, this is a one off and everything. And I always joked with him, it's like, well, come on, let's do one. That's a super prequel. That's like you know the old miners that discover the caves and everything. Ah! Like, but right. alas, yeah. But he's, he's, made a, he's made a classic, and that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he can he can leave it at that. I, I'm sure in his mind. Movie poster uh, is phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, the one of the best movie posters ever. And, and if you haven't seen his other movie, Dog Soldiers, check him out. Uh, if you don't know Neil Marshall, he also did some Game of Thrones episodes and a lot of TV and Doomsday. Oh. Doomsday. Great director. <laughs>